We continue in the New Testament book of Ephesians chapter 2 today. We will be looking at verses 17 through 22. Hello and welcome. This is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene for your daily devotion. And today is Saturday, July the 8th. Here's the word of the Lord from Ephesians 2, 17 through 22. He came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple to the Lord. And in him you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his Spirit. And that is the word of the Lord. The article, Fellow Citizens in God's House, and it's written by Matthew, Matt Price. Here's what Matt writes. Human nature seeks to belong. To join a community committed to Christ, there is no password or padlock on the gateway to enter it. There is no qualification of age, ethnicity, language, occupation, or any other status level. The only condition for joining the family of God is faith in Christ and a willingness to join his family. What does it mean to join the family of God? It means growing ever closer to Him. There is a progression to the pilgrim's journey towards God. Foreigner, foreigners to God are those far away from God without any knowledge of who He is or what He has done. They're ne they've never heard the story. Strangers move among the children of God and may not know things of God without true understanding or desire to live out the faith. Fellow citizens in the community of faith are those co-laboring in the work of God around the world, but still separated by minor differences and denominational affiliations. Finally, there are those who stand near to us in the household of God, the ones with whom we have close fellowship regular gatherings, and enjoy an intimate walk with God. Those once far away have now come nearer to God. Give Me Jesus is the hymn today, and it was written by Fanny J. Crosby. Let me view his constant smile, then throughout my pilgrim journey, light will cheer me all the while. And from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. And that's your daily devotion for Saturday, July the 8th. Have a blessed day.